Hello Libra, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your bonus reading for the second half of October. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. You guys actually came in third as the most viewed video for the second half of the month. So thank you guys. All right, so this particular reading, I'm going to start off with a couple of decks from Flames of Alchemy. This is the Divine Masculine one, and the counterpart to it is the Divine Feminine card deck. And um, I really wanted to use these as the focus card decks for this particular bonus reading, Libra. And it is general as always. It's not going to resonate with every single person tuning in. So please keep that in mind and release what does not resonate with you. If you're interested in a personal reading from me, that information is down below in the description box and um, also a list of the card decks that I feature during any given reading. All right, guys. So let's get started. Let me go ahead and focus first on Divine Masculine Energy. And that is just energy, guys. So it's really... These messages can be for male or female. It doesn't really matter. These are just representing energies that that person is exuding at this time. But it is a timeless reading. So whenever you are guided to tune in and watch Libra, and hopefully you'll be able to resonate with the messages. All right. So this is divine masculine energy, guys. Let's take a look and see what needs to come through here. trapped. All right, so I've got a divine masculine feeling trapped in a particular situation. So let's take a look and see where the divine feminine is at. Angels and spirit guides for Libra, please bring it forward for me. What else do we need to know at this time? Focus message wise, tapping into divine feminine energy. positive body image. Okay, so I might have some divine feminines who might have had issues in regard to that, especially if you had someone in your life. It could be family, it could be a romantic connection, a relationship where they made you feel that in regard to your body image, you know, that if they were criticizing you or tearing you down in some way, shape or form, this is coming through to let you know that you should see yourself in a positive light, especially in regard to your physical self. Okay, so we've got a divine masculine feeling trapped for some reason. So let's see why that is. All right, guys, so let's start off with the mystic moon oracles here. And let's see what comes through for this bonus reading, Libra. So angels and spirit guides, please bring it forward for Libra at this time. What messages would you benefit from at this time, Libra? Why do we have a divine masculine who's feeling trapped here? We've got cycles that are indicated here. So a cycle that needs to come to completion or taking things to the next level in regard to a situation or relationship. There is that settling energy from this card. And maybe going back to the divine masculine energy, if the divine masculine is feeling trapped in a situation where he feels he just needed to settle for whatever reason, that could be why that's coming through there. And again, guys, I'm saying he for divine masculine, but it doesn't have to be just, that's just how I channel. Okay, metamorphosis. There are changes that either need to happen here or changes that are being implemented at this time. And part of the metamorphosis too, for those of you who have body image issues, especially for my divine feminines, that's a part of your metamorphosis that it's time to change things to a more positive way of looking at yourself. You know, you're beautiful just the way you are, and you need to recognize that. We have a union that is indicated here. Bottom of the deck is winter, which could certainly be a time frame of the winter months, heading towards the latter half of this year. This could also be 
cold energy where things are stagnant and there's not a whole lot of movement in regard to this connection. All right, so it really depends on how that's playing itself out for your situation, Libra. So let's add some tarot to this and see what else we can find out. So angels and spirit guides, please, for Libra. This is the Twin Flame Journey Tarot by Mystic Moon. Of course, you don't have to identify with a Twin Flame connection. That's simply the name of the card deck. All right, let's see what Tarot has to say here. We've got the King of Wands, Visionary Leader. That's Fire Energy. So Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius for some of you. Page of Swords coming through here. That's Air. Somebody who's very much in their thoughts. What else, please, angels and spirit guides? We have a card coming up reversed. Tower. Divine intervention in this deck. It is coming up reversed. The tower in reverse is actually a disaster that has been avoided or will be avoided. Or it's a delayed disaster. It's also fear of suffering. Interesting. Let's add to this. Let's see what else. Another reversed card, okay? The star. Universal alignment, but it is coming up reversed. And typically in the upright, I mean, the star is a beautiful card. It brings hope and faith and renewal and rejuvenation into a situation or a relationship but in this particular reading, it's coming through reversed. So it's somebody who's very insecure, somebody who is discouraged, somebody who's lost faith either in themselves or in the relationship. Bottom of the deck, we do have the King of Swords here. Somebody who's very quick-witted, very intellectual. interesting let's add some romance angels to this to give us a clearer picture as to what's going on here because somebody's definitely very insecure about themselves about the relationship but clearly you know there are changes that are happening here and there are cycles that need to come to an end or to simply gravitate towards the next phase that this relationship is supposed to go. And for those of you who are feeling trapped or feel like you're just settling in a relationship, perhaps part of the metamorphosis that is indicated here is that by finding a different path for yourself, you can find the love that you're looking for and we do have a time frame of the winter months here. So, you know, December-ish, December, January possibly is when things might actually be changing for you, Libra. We've got two kings here. So for some of you guys, you might actually be thinking about choices that you have in love in regard to two different people if you're not committed at this time. And for my divine masculines who are as well feeling trapped in a relationship or just trapped by life and circumstances, you actually do have choices. And it's actually a good thing that that tower is coming up reversed here. You can avoid whatever disastrous outcome that you've created for yourself. You can avoid that with some choices and changes that need to be implemented here. Page of Swords could be bringing you a message of some sort. There's very curious, energetic vibrations from that card. Could certainly be tapping into your own energy, Libra. You know, the swords indicate air energy and that is you. 
All right, so let's add to this with some romance angels and let's see what else needs to come through here. What else, please, for Libra, angels and spirit guides? Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, you know, just allow those cycles to either come to completion or just allow life to unfold the way it is meant to. Let's see what else. What else, please, for Libra? Flirt. There's very flirtatious energy here. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And I really feel here, what I'm getting from this, Libra, is that if you are feeling trapped in a situation, in a relationship, maybe you do feel like you're settling and it's just not giving you what it is that you're looking for. You can bring about this metamorphosis all by yourself. You don't need anybody to do it for you. You've got choices here that you can actually make. And once you do that, especially heading towards the latter half of this year, you can actually bring love into your life. Just loosen the reins a little bit, you know? And it's interesting, you know, this trap card where he's literally got his hands tied over his head. But I feel here, especially for my divine masculines or whoever is resonating with that divine masculine energy you can loosen those ties at any given time and free yourself and as this card says you know extend your light-hearted energy to others have fun just enjoy yourself get back into the dating scene if you're single um, if you're in a relationship where things are not going well it's time to evaluate that relationship and allow things to come to completion with that cycle represented there. Maybe it's time to end it. Because I see love here coming in for you during the latter half of this year. Let's grab one more. Whoa, one card flying out. One second. Okay. So we've got the deception card flying out, wanting to be heard. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So that is telling me why we have this divine masculine feeling trapped, especially if, you know, the divine masculine is feeling that the other person is being manipulative, being deceptive, being dishonest, just not being truthful. And that cycle needs to come to completion in order to bring about the right kind of love that I feel you're looking for. Wow. Let's start the dialogue. All right. So Twin Flame Messages, Volume 1, Deck by Mystic Moon. And again, guys, you do not have to identify with a Twin Flame connection. All right, so let's see what words, thoughts, feelings, emotions need to be expressed here, Libra, either by you or the person that you are thinking about for this reading. And if you're the one that's feeling trapped, just know that you, you're not imprisoned. You're not trapped. You're not tied down. You can create the changes in your life that you want to see happen. And if someone's being deceptive with you, you don't need to put up with that. Look at this, see? Do you see that? It says, I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. This could be you. You know, if you happen to be seeing a whole bunch of signs that's trying to tell you, it's time to go. It's time to cut off ties. It's time to find a different path. Pay attention to what the universe is trying to tell you. Let's see what else. What else needs to come through here? I miss you regardless of how things seem. So for those of you in separation from somebody, they are telling you that they miss you, but if they were being deceptive with you, Libra, you might want to rethink some sort of reconnection here if that's what they're presenting to you, especially with that union card and the winter card towards the latter half of this year. If that's what's coming through for you, 
and somebody wanting to come back to you, make sure that you know exactly what their intentions are, especially if things ended badly or if they were being kind of shady with you before. Okay, so just be, be careful about the choices that you make, especially in regard to somebody who wants to come back to you. I've never forgotten you even though you think I have. Bottom of the deck, interesting. I'm not the same person that you remember. Well, hopefully that's good, you know, because if what you're remembering, Libra, is that they were deceptive, if they were a liar or a cheater or whatever they were that was coming forward with negative energy, if that's how they were before and that's what caused you guys to go into separation, and this is coming through to let you know that they're telling you, I'm not the same person that you remember. Maybe that's a part of that metamorphosis that they have changed as well. Everybody can. And it's up to you, of course, if you want to give them a second chance. Because they are telling you that they still think about you, that they haven't forgotten about you. But it's up to you to really evaluate whether they've made the, the changes that are necessary in order to deserve you back into their life. Okay? All right, let's add to this with some Twin Flame Messages Volume 2 now. Because there's other things here I feel that need to come through. So angels and spirit guides for Libra, please. What else do we need to know for this bonus reading? What else needs to be expressed here, either from Libra or to Libra? Let's see who needs to speak up here. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately. They're still thinking about you. They are so still thinking about you, Libra. Look at this bottom card. I know I made a huge mistake, followed by, you are never far from my mind, and I'm guided to pull this next one as well. I feel too much pressure right now. So this person that you're thinking about, Libra, for this reading, they know they screwed up, they're still thinking about you, but they feel too much pressure to reach out at the moment. So look to the latter half of this year. I really feel that there will be movement at that time, communication of some sort at that time. You know, page of swords, there's a message, some sort of message that's coming through here for you. And again, we've got that tower card that's reversed. Somebody who wants to avoid disaster. This could be you. You know, maybe if this person were to reapproach you and want to get back together and start talking again, you might not be so keen towards wanting to talk again, especially if they were cheating on you before, lying to you before, just not an overall good person. Yeah, there are some things that you need to consider if they were to reach out to you. Okay. All right. So let's add some Infinity Oracle to this, guys. And let's see what else needs to come through. This is by Fire Witch Tarot. So angels and spirit guides for Libra, please. What else do we need to know at this time? And for those of you not interested in a reconciliation with this person, you certainly don't have to because I feel here that love will find you, for, especially for my singles who are unattached at the moment. Love will find you guys. It's the possibility of finding a love connection towards the latter half of this year is pretty prominent. It's a prominent message coming through here in this reading. What else, please, angels and spirit guides? I kiss but don't tell secrets. So yeah, deceptive energy, secrets, third-party situations, cheating, infidelity. And I feel here, Libra, if this person truly has not changed, you'll know it right off the bat. But they are telling you that they're not... They're not the same person that you remember. So 
make sure that that is the case. You know, and it's so fitting how this is the next card. It says the unknown because there's a lot of factors here that come into play in regard to what's happening in this situation. So you have to take that leap of faith and just figure out for yourself if you're willing to take that risk to find out if they really have changed. Look at this next card, secret love. Too many secrets with this person. And that's why we've got that deception coming forward forward from that card. I feel for some of you guys that this person stepped out on the connection, went into a third party situation, or some of you guys may have had somebody in karmic partnerships. So even though they're telling you that they miss you and that they still think about you and all of these signs are pointing back to you and they are recognizing the fact that they've made a mistake. Not everybody deserves to come back into your life, Libra. So you got to be very discerning about the people that you allow back into your heart. Okay. Let's add to this with signs from spirit, love, Oracle. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Libra. What else do we need to know at this time? What else do we need to know at this time, please? What else do we need to know for Libra? For this bonus reading, please, angels. Okay, we got a couple cards. Okay, so we've got pen and creation. Sorry for the glare. Pen and creation. Typically, when this card comes forward, Libra, it's because they want to reach out to you. And of course, in today's world, it comes in the form of either a text, a phone call, or an email rather than an actual old-fashioned letter. But we also have this hourglass, and it says time is slipping. You know, there's only a small window of opportunity to get this off the ground for choices to be made to either come back together and start talking again or to make one final decision to just officially cut them off for, for good, you know? So it depends, of course, on how you're wanting things to move in regard to this person that you might be thinking about for this reading, Libra. My advice is just be very discerning and be mindful of what their intentions are because, you know, people can definitely tell you, oh, I've changed. I'm not the same person that I was when I hurt you. I'm not the same type of person that I was when I cheated on you or betrayed you or blah, blah, blah. You know, one excuse after the other, but it goes beyond just talking. They have to actually prove themselves through their actions. That's what I'm feeling from that. Let me grab one more. One more card, please, for Libra. What else, please, for Libra? Oh, see? <laughs> Tidal wave, destruction, that is the tower card. I feel here for some of my Libras that if you were to allow this person to come back, those of you who are in separation, They've hurt you, they've cheated on you, they've lied to you, manipulated you, whatever way, shape, or form they were being deceptive with you. I don't think that words are enough. I don't think this person has changed their stripes, so to speak. And I feel here that allowing this person to come back into your life, Libra, would create a tower moment. Tower moments are hard. They're difficult, they're challenging, they're chaotic, they are traumatic, they are painful. So if this is something that you want to avoid, because we already have the tower coming up reversed here, remember? So now it's coming through here again. So if proper choices are not made, then it's coming. It's still coming in for you, so be careful. 
about the people that you interact with, the people that make you promises that they've changed, that they still love you, that they still miss you, that they still want you. Make sure that it's just not all talk and that they can actually back that up with action. Okay, so let's add some lover's oracle to this. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Libra. You know, because it's so easy to just say, oh, yeah, I've changed. I'm not going to hurt you anymore. Yeah, whatever. You know, that's not always good enough. Make them prove it. All right. There we are. Let me grab this bottom card. Let's see what we have here, Libra. Okay. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So for some of you, I feel there might actually be a loved one that's coming through in this reading for you. They're blessing this reading. It could be a parent, could be a relative, a sibling, a friend. And they're coming through to let you know that, you know, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. And I feel here that those memories won't ever go away. It will always be a part of your heart. Okay. And the other card that came through, this is the bottom of the deck. It says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So this person that is still thinking about you, Libra, you know, they might have legitimate love for you, but they can't have their cake and eat it too. You know, if they're going to want to come back to you and want to reconnect, start talking again, come back into your life, come back into your heart, then they need, they need to really show you this love that they have for you by being faithful, by being truthful, being honest, and not being deceptive in any way, shape, or form. They really need to prove themselves this time around. So don't be afraid to make them work for it. All right, guys. All right, so I really want to add to this with some healing messages. Angels and spirit guides for Libra, please. Please bring it forward for Libra for this bonus reading. And again, guys, it is timeless. You can watch this a year from now, and if it happens to resonate, welcome in those messages. Healing messages for Libra, please. Healing messages for Libra, please. Love it. Miracles. Bottom of the deck. Signs. All right, so Libra. Perhaps you have been praying for a miracle. Okay, well, it's coming through to let you know that you're about to get it. And there are signs that are quite prominent in what's going on around you. Okay, and going back to this particular message, I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. So it's either you getting these signs or the person you're thinking about or both of you guys. And of course, it depends on how you choose to handle those signs and what sort of action you choose to take as a result of the messages that you are receiving from those signs. For some of you, those signs might actually be to just cut off ties, find a different direction, welcome in the changes that you are implementing in your life for yourself, especially if anyone's ever made you feel trapped, made you feel small, criticizing what you look like, what you were wearing, you know, whatever the case may be, how you wore your hair, whatever. If they made you feel less than and didn't see the value in you, Libra, for who you were and who you are, then it's time to go, you know. It's different for every person tuning in, but just be mindful of the tower cards that are represented here. We've got one that's reversed, one that's in the upright. So if wrong choices are made here, 
then that tower is going to be coming down on a situation where it needs to level things out from that situation or relationship that is no longer serving a purpose in your life, Libra. And sometimes if we can't do it for ourselves, the universe steps in and it does it for us. And it's so interesting, you know, going back to this card, let go of those control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally because we can't plan every second of our life. Sometimes we need to loosen the reins a little bit and give the wheel to the universe to direct us towards a better place in our lives. But yeah, you've got miracles coming in. So get ready for that. All right, so Libra, let's close out this reading with some final thoughts and some final messages. When Spirit Speaks by Medium on a Mission, created by Heather Falona. Let's go ahead and see some final thoughts for Libra, please, angels and spirit guides. I just feel like for some of you, this person doesn't have the best of intentions. And even though they sweet talk you into thinking that they might have changed and that they're not going to hurt you anymore, you got to make them, you know, work for it. Rewire. That's a part of that metamorphosis. Changing your perspective, changing the path that you were on before, especially if it put you in a place where you were feeling trapped or that you were just settling or that you were unhappy or unfulfilled, it's time to rewire your way of thinking. Because what it is that we think, what it is that we put out there into the universe is what we attract back to us. Make sure that it counts. I love this bottom of the deck. Free spirit. You're a free spirit. You have your own free will. Libra. Nobody can tie you down unless you let them. You don't have to settle for anything or anyone. You can go after what it is that you want, who it is that you want. You don't have to settle for just a subpar relationship. Because I feel here, once you welcome in this cycle that needs to actually come to completion and allow a new cycle to begin, that as well is a new chapter in this metamorphosis in your life. And part of that new chapter may actually bring you the love that you are deserving of. Somebody that is deserving of you. And we do have that winter card indicating some sort of time frame here. So towards the latter half of this year, towards December. The card after free spirit is be bold. Absolutely. Take it upon yourself to make the changes that you need to see happen in your life, Libra. You don't have to wait for anybody to do that for you. So yeah, be bold and take action. Go for it. Go for it. You know, because again, remember, time is slipping. You know, these miracles that want to come in for you, it's not going to be there forever. There's a window of opportunity for you to grab these miracles and special blessings and positive energy that wants to come in for you. So be bold and take action, Libra. All right, guys. So that's where I'm going to leave this reading. I hope if you were able to resonate with what came through here today, that it truly helped you open up your eyes to the possibilities of what you can welcome into your life. All right, guys. So thank you so much for being here for the love love and support and for coming in third as the most viewed video for the second half of October. All right, guys. And again, happy birthday for those who are celebrating birthdays the second half of the month. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading and the messages that came through. You were able to benefit from it. All right. So if you're interested in a private reading, that information is down below in the description box, Libra. And thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you next time. Take care.